following production of the Bank Cartoon Radio Hour contains fictional material used strictly for satirical and comedic purposes, and it should not be accepted as being factual, and all voices are impersonated. Welcome! You! Bang Cartoon Radio. It's huge when it comes to learning a new guy's rear end. Oh, put stop it! I know what, the National what, Football League. What, 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 please? Sometimes they run and they smell like sex. That's how we do it. Bang Cartoon Look here, things need to be done around here. A lot of people have picked us to put in on seat, and rightfully so. Welcome to the Bang Cartoon Radio Hour. I did my job! I showed up! I, I know. And now, here's John and Tom. Hello, yeah. Tony Romo and T.O. go off and beat the number one defense to let people know that the team that a lot of people picked before the season started mm -hmm. to go to Super Bowl is the real deal and it'll be offense. I'm looking for the Cowboys to beat the number one defense Pittsburgh Steelers 35-17 at Heinz Field. 35-17? to 35-17. Pittsburgh hasn't Field. given up more than 300 yards in any game this season. 35-17 Cowboys. Write wow. it down. Wow. Wow. I think that guy's been hanging out in the Detroit locker room too long. <laughs> Rob Parker yeah. from the Detroit Morning News. <laughs> that is... Uh, yeah, that's our buddy's favorite guy right there. That's uh, uh, Marinelli's favorite reporter. Oh, yeah, he's... Uh, Rob Parker, man, he's he's getting to be a show favorite this year. I tell you what, man, we talked about that game last week. I don't know if we talked about it on the show too much, but you and I talked about it quite a bit. And I told you, I said it's going to be a thirty-one twenty-eight corker, right? Right. And you said you're crazy. And I said no, nah, there's going to be turnover, 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 and you're going to have all these short fields. I didn't know that as soon as they got a short field, that everybody would turn it right the f back over. Oh God, jeez, what was there? Seven or eight turnovers in the first half of that game? Six, six. God, I, I just uh, made me sick. We had it. We had it, John. It was ours. Dude, I don't want to hear it, because you know why? Why? You know why? <laughs> why? The Cowboys lost, the Giants lost, the Redskins lost, the Falcons lost. You know who that opens the door for? Philadelphia. The Philadelphia freaking Eagles. <laughs> and you know what, Tom? Much as we make fun of them, pick on them, that's the last thing you wanted to see in December, dude, is those guys with a chance. Did you see how they just... Dis just dismantled the Giants. I give you the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Skip. Take them back. <sighs> Don't do it for Donovan, because Donovan's playing good right now. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, one game, you know, two games, whatever. I mean, it's 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 funny. Every time a team has a great win, you know, like like Carolina Monday night oh, and man. Philadelphia on Sunday, I'm, I'm hearing, uh, you know, the talking heads are going... These teams are playing the best football in the league right now. Well, okay, of of this weekend or the past two weeks, but I mean, you know, Dallas was playing the best football the the previous three weeks. It, 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 the Redskins used to talk playoffs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forget about that. Although I will say this, um, maybe I'm just one of these starry eyed little kids that doesn't know what he's looking at, but I sure as hell was impressed with the Carolina Panthers last night. Oh my God! That, well, that looks like know, a, a team on a march. D'Angelo Williams has exploded. Him and Jonathan Stewart both. Oh, it's they're that's yeah, it's they're going to be a team to be to, to reckon with. I, There's no question about it. If I had to sit down right now today and, and you had held a gun to my head and and said, "Who's your Super Bowl team?" I, I would say, "Don't fucking shoot me, man! Goddamn!" <laughs> but then I'd have to pick the pants. Well, I did pick them to win their division. I can say that. I'm a genius. I am a genius. I oh wait a minute. I picked the Rams to win their division. Never mind. Oh, you did to pick the Rams. <laughs> Good gravy. So let me ask you now, in December, would you pick the Rams to beat uh, 11 tiny little yellow ducklings in a game of football? <sighs> How many points can I have? And is O.J. Atagwe hurt? <laughs> right. Yeah, we don't like that guy. Uh, yeah. You know, it's funny how that goes, though. I mean, you can look so smart picking this team that nobody else picked, but then you got some other pick that's just horrifying, you know. <laughs> I had the Lions as a wild card. <laughs> Dude, I, you ought to know better. I, every year I, I say the know, same thing. I know. Show me. And I've been saying the same thing about those damn Seattle Seahawks for all those years. Show me. Show me. And then I said it about the Cardinals, and now everybody. Dude, I was actually arguing with a Cardinals fan last night. I couldn't. 
Where did you find a Cardinals fan? They're coming out of the woodwork. Are you kidding me? They're like cockroaches. <laughs> oh, They're all old people with walkers that have brakes and big wheels on them. They're coming. Yeah, go Kurt Warner. He's a church boy, you know. They are who they thought they were. They were exactly who they thought we were. We thought... They were, we thought they were the Bears, but turns out they're the Cardinals. You know, they changed their name back in the 20s. Right. Yeah. I remember going to the game, they changed the name, and they were getting beat 34 to nothing at halftime, so they went in and came back out as the Cardinals and tried to fool everybody. Uh, let's, uh, let's go back to Rob Parker. You know, he's sitting in there with Skip Bayless on Friday on uh, ESPN 2's first take, and, uh, you know, Romo and the Cowboys crumbled at the end of that Steelers game, and you know, John, it's all Jessica Simpson's fault. <laughs> right. You didn't know that? Well, I, I, I know that probably in that freezing cold weather, her nipples were probably very hard, and Tony was <laughs> thinking of that. <laughs> well, they moved in together, her and Romo. Oh, isn't that sweet? They've moved yeah. in together. So she's got her claws in Tony Romeo. Right. So yeah, so Rob Parker and Skip Bayless are uh, are going to talk about it with uh I don't even know who this guy hosting the show was, but th- before they talked about it, they played a clip of Ben Roethlisberger who was asked about it. Oh, we'll see Roethlisberger because remember he's I don't like the Redskins cheerleaders stretching in front of <laughs> So he was probably trying to decide which one of them would have the better decorating taste. And I think it would be Jessica because she likes pink and I like pink. <laughs> Well, I can tell you Roethlisberger's not gay, and Skip will back that up here. But oh, listen, listen, really? no, okay. no, you'll, you'll understand why in a moment. That's a hell of a lead-in. But, <laughs> but uh, oh, I see. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Big Ben. Oh, uh, Skipper, Skipper, what are you doing to my daughter? The spitter, the spitter, and the skipper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so here you're going to hear Roethlisberger responding to a question he was asked. What you know about is is you think it's a mistake for Tony Romo to be d- dating this high profile pop star, and and he's going to answer it, and then they're going to talk about it. I don't mean this to sound to sound rude, but but he's like asking for it. You know, he's dating the high. I mean, he's doing all the stuff that he wants to do, and um, you know, that's that's the life that he chooses to live off the football field, and and that's like I said, that's his choice. And that's that's why. So I don't I don't like I said, it's it's, it's what he chooses to do. Is he serious? Ooh. Skip, does he Ooh. have a point? Whoa. Did he say that? He definitely has a point, and he is sticking that point <gasps> right in little Romeo's back. <laughs> oh. Twisting it, right? Oh. And, and by the way, he, he is also being something of a hypocrite, I must say, because Ben Roethlisberger has dated Natalie Gulbis and that mm-hmm. starlet from Heroes. I, I never watch, but, but that's what I read here. Hey, okay, now hold on. I'm going to stop right there, because first off, Natalie Gulbis is a home run. Okay. Do you know who she is? Natalie Gulbis? Golbus. No. She's a she's a LPGA golfer. Oh, all right. And she's incredible looking. Okay. Okay. And then I don't know. He said uh the starlet from Heroes. I don't know if he's talking about Hayden Panettiere or Allie Larder. The <laughs> the blonde girl with the split personality. I gotta tell you, dude, you're you're gonna have to just lend me your people magazines when you're done with them every week. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> well, I thought you watched Heroes. I watched the first season of Heroes and then I never got because I gotta watch these things on DVD. Okay, well, I well, Hayden Panettiere is the cheerleader. And I'm sure she's very cute. Oh, she's the cheerleader. Yeah, the she's cheerleader. Very cute. That's so Hayden. Tony Romo was boinking her? No, Roethlisberger was either doing her or Allie Larder was the blonde girl who was had the split personality oh. and would become very strong. Oh, all right. You know who I'm talking about? No, but that's I okay. I thought you watched the first season. I did, but it's been oh. two years. She had that. She had the black boyfriend and the little black son. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I okay. didn't like her. Okay, huh? I didn't like that character. Every time her her part came on the show, I got bored. Well, she has a twin, and she's got a new character yeah. now. It's her twin sister. So yeah, the, <laughs> the little twin that lived in the mirror, right? But it's yeah, yeah. But it's one of those two. I'm assuming when he says the the starlet from from heroes I, hayden panettiere <laughs> she seems so young for roethlisberger but he's really not that old no he's not he's i mean he's only his fourth year in the league right fourth or fifth year yeah yeah he's like 26, 26 27 and she's like 21 22 so it's okay and you know dude, what I'm 45 if i can get a hold of me some 21 year old hollywood coot <laughs> hi baby yeah especially hayden I mean, she's she's pretty damn cute, but yeah, more well, power. My wife than showed up, so no, 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 I wouldn't touch any of them. Oh, is that? <laughs> but you know, I, he, he's right. I mean, if if Ben's been dating those two girls, he can't really say much about Romo dating Jessica Simpson. Well, you know, Rock Hudson, they made him marry Doris Day to cover up him being a homo, right? Because right? they couldn't have that. Uh, they made Troy Aikman get married because you know. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here we go. Okay. Now everybody's Jeff Garcia. <laughs> but the point is, Ben keeps his women at arm's length. He oh, merely dates. Oh. And his point is that Jessica... <laughs> He's stiff-arming these women. ...is clearly a high-maintenance mess. And now that she oh. has moved in with little Romeo, she will become a daily distraction. And I continue to say, Rob... Uh, that she needs him and his cowboy quarterback fame and platform more than he needs her distraction before he's proven anything yet as a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys.